What's up YouTube? It's your boy Itchy and just wanted to do a quick video. I've got to have some oral surgery tomorrow so I probably won't be able to talk for about a week or won't feel up to talking for about a week uh, on videos so I decided to do all my running around and get it done before that actual uh, surgical appointment in the morning. Um, now I just did the uh, unboxing of the Beats Wireless about, I actually had them for a little over 24 hours and decided to return them immediately and I will tell you why in my brief review of those. Um, the reason why I decided to return those headsets, was, headphones, excuse me, was because um, they were, it was just too much bass for me <laughs> and I know you say name, too much bass. Uh, what I want to do with them is probably different than their intended purpose and what I mean by that is is that those uh, particular uh, headphones are all bass and the treble and, and oh, excuse me the mids and the, and the highs just kind of were washed into it and just re it was just a real mushy sound for me um, I could hear definitely a lot of bass even in a lot of the music that I like to listen to and I like you know listen to like a lot of guitar music and stuff like that um, and a lot of old school music and it was just all of the bass notes were just really prevalent and everything else just wasn't there and I tried it wired and wireless and I just really wasn't satisfied with that sound and I'm like most other people, I just kind of know what I like when I hear it and that just wasn't the sound I was looking for so I didn't need to do any more testing because there was no adjustment other than volume up and down on those headphones. So I took those back and I opted for this set which I'm going to unbox for you in this video. These are the Beats Executives and I like these executives for a couple reasons um, number one is they actually had these out in the store and I got to listen to them extensively for you know a good 15 20 minutes to make sure this was the sound on a couple different songs and I really was pleased with the highs and mids on these over the actual pros and over the wireless so this was my headset of choice and then I also liked the construction a little bit a little bit better which I will get to here in a second so all in all my Beats experience so far has been a little lackluster I was excited at first uh, unboxing them because they were cool and the wireless concept was a cool concept um, I, I you know I still do think that the wireless concept is cool if with probably another company but Beats is all about pushing that bass out and I realize that's what a lot of people do like but if you're going to be editing uh, which I'm going to do a lot of with these headphones. These are going to be my primary everyday headphones for every use. Uh, editing, recording my uh, on my uh, Yeti, uh, listening to music, listening to YouTube uh, at night when I'm in bed. Um, on my iPad, I'm going to use these for a lot of different things. So I need the highs and mids to be dead on because I've always been the highs and mids uh, bass last kind of guy, not the other way around. So I've rambled enough about the wise um, let's talk about price the Beats Wireless are $279.99 and the executives are the same price as the studio they're $300 so about uh, realistically 20 more bucks is what you uh, will pay for these if you decide to go that route um, I could have gotten the pros for another hundred bucks and those are the one step up from these um, but I opted not to, like I said, after I heard these, I just thought these sounded wonderful in the store. I'm going to do some extensive testing uh, with them uh, over the next day to two days. Like I said, I'm going to be out with oral surgery, so uh, I'm going to be out of work anyway. So I'm just going to be sitting around and I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to have a lot of free time on my hands. So I'm going to listen to a lot of music. So without further ado, let's open this box. And it's pretty similar packaging to... Uh, any other uh, set of beats actually uh, and it, it, it unboxes very similar to the wireless set that I that I unboxed for you the other day uh, let me move this camera a little bit better I didn't loosen up the tripod so uh, yeah let's look at the box so uh, you got a picture uh, looks like an aluminum but there is a, a metal finish here and it does say executive on the uh, band there and it's got some sort of woven leather it says Beats Executive and these are the Beats by Dre it says here designed by Beats and these again are the post uh, Beats Monster split up 
uh, Beats, Executives, uh, these these headphones anyway. Um, so if you look on the side, let's look at some other things. We got remote and microphone, iPod, iPhone, iPad, and HTC, Blackberry, and Android. So apparently there's two different versions of cords here that come with this particular set of headphones so you can use them with your smartphones and other devices which are cool um, da -dum -dum -dum. let's look at the back I'm just looking at things that look interesting to me they kind of show you the breakdown of the actual speaker much like the wireless did and it shows you how they fold which is a little different they don't both fold in they kind of flip over on this particular set um, that's pretty much it so and when you look at it from this angle you kind of can see the full headset go figure and I bet those was the other set the wireless were like that too I just didn't notice it so let's open the box this looks very similar to what we had in the other box you got this It's exactly the same as a matter of fact design construct and you can open it up you've got I'm sure all your course and everything here and You've got in this other box here, let me unlock my tripod. You've actually got your headphones here. And this is cool because it's a semi hard case, which I'm happy with. We'll get to that in a second. It's built a lot different and a lot sturdier than the other case with the other headphones. And it says on this case, Beats Executive. And it's got a nice, still got that B for Beats there on the zipper. And it's got the B embossed in this. I guess this is some sort of a composite material, uh, like a rubber. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, we go into this particular part here, and it's got the Velcro down. And again, you've got your Beats cloth, which, if you want to clean them, is very cool. I got a, a ton of those. Um, these do take batteries, the actual uh, wireless did not. So these have noise canceling capabilities, so they require two tr uh, AAA batteries. Here is your big jack, and you just basically an adapter for your 3.5 millimeter, like so. If you need that, which is cool, it's got the Beats logo on it. Um, same course I showed you yesterday with one exception. Here's like a splitter style deal that turns stereo into looks like mono and mono is different because you've got uh, the single line instead of the dual lines like this one for instance that's a stereo plug that's like a mono looking plug I don't know exactly what this is I have to look and see um, but uh, yeah you got two different plugs and actually this is a straight pass-through look, looking plug and this plug is the one for actual calling and stuff with the up down toggle and all that good stuff on it so we've got both of those uh, let's open this package up I didn't show you that in the last video on the wireless but I'll show you on the executives what's in this packaging and we have just the little Beats by Dre book and this book right here just kind of shows you the different Beats that are available and just kind of talk to you about the whole experience and the first one you come to are the pros which are their top of the line band is ones they make $400, $400 the next set is the studio which is their $300 set in my opinion these are a, a lot flimsier than the executives but that's just my opinion um, then you've got the different colors of the studios then you've got the wireless which are the ones I showed you in my last video the mixers the solos and the tour the beat the power beats and heartbeats and ultra beat uh, your beats excuse me the beatbox and the peel should be in here somewhere uh, the beatbox portable no peel and no executive set I believe let me make sure I didn't gloss over it but I don't think I saw either of those in this book yep no executives and no beats peel which is the new little uh, Bluetooth speaker I guess those are too new but they didn't make the cut but so you're getting to see something that's not in that little book um, here's a beat sticker and that came with the other ones as well warranty information and the executive user guide so that concludes everything that's in this particular packaging let's show you what you really wanted to see after that whole boring monologue of information 
And let me know if you guys have used these or what you think. And if you think the pros are better than the uh, executive or the wireless better or vice versa or whatever. I'm dying to know. Uh, let me make sure we got what we need here. So once you unzip these guys, I guess since that's built, says beats executive, that way it's meant to open that way. And here they are. And they are some snazzy looking headphones. Um, when you look here, got like a metallic. This has got to be some sort of aluminum um, because it's so light and it's it got a really nice feel to it. These are very well made. Um, this aluminum as well. And you can see there it's got little screws in. And you can twist this out and it locks in. That one drops down and it twists out as well. And there's a nice set of headphones. And these are over the ear headphones, meaning your ear actually goes in the cup. Uh, whereas the uh, wireless sat on your ear. Uh, they do have a swivel. And I don't have the others for a comparison, but they feel about the same weight. Um, if you look in there really close, there's an R and an L on this one for left and right. And that's pretty much it. Um, across the top, instead of it being that uh, plastic that you get fingerprinty, this is a, a soft touch material. It may be leather, it may not. It's some sort of uh, material with like a memory foam stuck up under it. It says Beats on the top. And on the ear cup, there is the Beats logo. Now, if you look right here, there's an on-off switch. That is for noise canceling capabilities. And if you look on this one, it shows you how the batteries go in. Uh, and it's got this little battery sticker there that I'm gonna stick in the bottom of the box because I like, I'm a weirdo. So this is magnetic, which is cool. Just lift it back like that and it's got a little strap to catch it. We're going to take those batteries. And who said my nails didn't come in handy? Uh oh, sounds like trouble. Damn, bumping, dropping stuff, going crazy. Um, and we will drop both of these guys in. Let me look at my little guy. Normally one of these would go up, one of these would go down, but I was assured by the directions that both of these batteries go the exact same way, negative, positive. And then we put the top back on. And it snapped right in as you heard. And there's also, this is that same leathery style material in there, which is cool. It's got a nice feel to it as well. That's where the actual cord, input cord goes, so that you can listen and take calls. Um, I will definitely use that one, which is this cord. And this end, I'm pretty sure, goes into the device. And this end goes into the actual headphones because there is the mic and all that good stuff on here. So, and it just makes sense because the B is the correct way if I hold it that way. So, you just go find your headphone jack port and insert said jack and bada bing bada boom, you're in the game. So you've got a full set and that red doesn't look too bad. I would like to have had this cord in black and maybe had this in gray. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Overall, these are some really nice headphones. They got a really good build quality, much better than the other ones, and they feel pretty freaking awesome.